There have been a lot of recent reports of the Singaporean Aerospace Exhibition. There was a German uh, military plane that was uh, on display for all the visitors to the exhibition. And if they were Chinese national or Russian national, uh, they would not be allowed to enter the plane. Now this is really getting a little weird because a few days later, the exhibitors uh, had to make a public announcement to say that, oh, there's no restriction on nationality of visitors. Uh, everybody's welcome to contact the exhibition management and uh, will be allowed to visit the, the plane. This is using nationality as a basis of whether or not something that is on public display or can be visited is getting a little absurd. I think this is a reflection of how the Western countries, in this case Germany, there is such a distorted vision or a distorted view of what the Chinese nationals are like, what Chinese is all about. Uh, of course, all Russians as well, that uh, they would actually do something like this until it became very clear that uh, this is so absurd and it's very damaging to their reputation. I think this is a continuation of what had started nearly a decade ago of uh, China bashing. Let's leave the Russian question aside. But from the Chinese side, we started with Donald Trump, trade war against China, starting with imposing all kinds of tariffs on Chinese products, which eventually actually hurt the American consumer, followed by a technology war against China. So trade war, technology war, with restrictions on Huawei, restrictions on all these Chinese technology companies, and then followed now by a financial war. The financial war is restricting investment of, of Chinese companies in the U.S. and restricting investment, financial investments of American funds, American capital or European capital of investing in China. This has led to a general view, at least among the Westerners, of uh, Chinese being all spies, all dangerous people, and so on and so forth. This is, this is really very, very bad. Those of us who live here in, Ch in China see the Chinese people as being very friendly people, a very positive energy exhibited, and it exudes now self-confidence. And this may be what the West is, is frightened of. You have a situation in which China has grown so quickly has done so many things at an incredible pace over the last three or four decades, including poverty alleviation, improving the lives of its people. It's reached such a level that America especially uh, feels that it's threatened. So instead of trying to improve its own governance, improve its own technology, improve its own manufacturing, improve the lives of its own people, it tries to suppress or bash the Chinese. This is really, really absurd, reaching to the point where nationality now becomes a factor in determining whether or not a international public exhibition uh, would allow Chinese participation or Chinese visitors to enjoy the exhibition like anybody else. How could you talk about being international? How could you talk about free trade? How, to, how can you talk about friendly relations among nations when things get this ridiculous? And this is really quite sad, I'm afraid.